Holidays are amazing, aren't they? They're so much full of joy and excitement. But this year is going to be a bit different. There's not going to be huge get togethers or airports full of people traveling. I know for me, I usually travel across the ocean to see my family around the holidays. This year, we're encouraged to stay at home, to stay isolated, to stay within a very small circle of friends and family, a bubble, if you will. And loneliness was already a growing concern before the pandemic. Now, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Natalia Edelman. I am a certified wellness coach with the International Association of Wellness Professionals, a number one best-selling author, and the founder of the Make It Happen Success System. Now, in this video, I want to share with you three ways to deal with loneliness over the holidays. So maybe I should ask you this, and you can comment below. What do you do when you're alone for the holidays? You, like most people, eat too much, you watch too much Netflix, or you just scroll on Instagram, you scroll on social media. So how can you help yourself feel more healthy and less lonely over the holidays? Well, one thing you can do is be more mindful when you're eating. And that means slowing down the whole eating process. And the way you can do that is to really take your time to chew your food, to feel the texture, to taste all the flavors, and imagine it going throughout the whole digestive process from your mouth down to your, down your esophagus, through to your stomach, and through your digestive tract. It's an amazing way to really practice mindfulness. Now, let me address too much Netflix. Now, binging on Netflix is something that we all do, and you know, we'll continue to do it. But when we're off for the holidays and we can't necessarily meet up with friends or family, you can start to really feel lonely because suddenly you realize that hours have gone by and you've done absolutely nothing. Now, like I said, it's okay to do this from time to time, but really try to fill your days with something different, something creative, maybe a hobby that you haven't done for a while, some creative writing or just writing in general, reading, painting. These are all things that really activate your mind and nourish your mind, body, and soul. Now, too much scrolling. We're all guilty of this, but the challenge is, and this is becoming a very noticeable problem, is people spending too much time on social media. And when that happens, we get into this comparisonitis. We start to, we start to sort of fall into victim mode or, you know, really question our own lives and, and long to live someone else's life, which is never a good feeling. You know, you forget how far you've come and how much you've accomplished. And so what I would suggest here is to set a timer for yourself when you go on social media. And this is going to really help you limit your time. And when you're not on social media, Think about all the things that you've achieved this year. Think about all the silver linings. Think about all the things that you look forward to next year. And just bring more joy into your life without having to scroll on social media or, or look to others to, to see how they're living their lives. You can also replace social media with social interactions hopping on a Zoom call, getting more social, joining communities. Loneliness is a mental state. It's a feeling, and it's something that is within our control. We are in control of our own thoughts, our own behaviors, our own actions, and our own feelings. We just have to learn to listen and, and pay attention to the patterns that are going on. Pay attention to what we're eating and how quickly we're eating and how much television or Netflix we're consuming or social media. 
how are you going to nourish your mind, body, and soul over the holidays? I'd love for you to comment below and share because you may actually inspire someone who's watching this and reading the comments as well to do something different, to take control over their own feelings over the holidays. If you're at all struggling with this, if you're all at all feeling lonely, reach out to friends and family, reach out to me or any one of our IWP wellness coaches, and we'll be happy to connect with you. Have a wonderful holiday season, and we'll see you in the new year.